What's, What's up, baby, baby fam? fam? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be having a Mexican food mukbang in Hawaii. Aloha, mahalo. Aloha. Shout out to my Hawaiian people, everyone from the islands all across the world. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We found some bomb ass Mexican food. And as Mexicans, I really feel proud and like excited to share this with you guys because this was the first time we tried it, or the second time we tried it, and we fell in love. Yeah. And we want to share it with you guys. Yeah, the first time we tried it, we were like, oh, we're coming back, and we're going to have a full-on mukbang with the Wavy Fam, and we're going to show you guys everything that we got. So let me get a close-up of the food so you guys can see everything that we ended up ordering. So we got a gordita de pollo, gordita de frijoles, we got two tacos, uno del pastor y de That's carne asada. And then we got a gordita de chicharron. Oh my God, that looks so fire. So we also have our drinks. Should we got the Mexican Coke that yes, looks sir. so fire. And yes. I got a jaritos de mandarina. Y'all, I'm sorry. We just finished our snorkel, snorkeling tour What are you gonna go in first? I'm going in on my sofa because yeah. I've been waiting for this. I'm going on the taco that has a, a pineapple with the al pastor. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Man. This okay. Is First off, the flavoring is on point. It's like so authentic. It tastes like real Mexican food. Like stuff your grandma will make. I'm not even gonna lie. These sopes are better than my mom's. No cap. Damn. I know. Mama cat, if you're watching this. Hold on. I don't know what they're doing, but. You better start funking the family right now. You can't be talking about people's food like that. No, yo. but it's true though. Like my mom, my mom's sop is good. Mama like cat, that. shout out Mama cat. I love her cooking too. But this one just like. It's on point, y'all. I don't fresh. know what they're doing, but they're, they're doing it. I want to take a bite of this gordita because no, I've try, been craving try a gordita. Try my gordita. Try my. Oh, I do want to try that. Al pastor taco. Let's see, Kat, let's see what Kat thinks about that. She don't like that. That's what she... Hey! Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. <laughs> with the pineapple? Yes, sir. That's it's hidden. only right with the pineapple. <laughs> Damn, that's fire. Good. Oh my God. Let's try this gordita. Let's try this carne asada taco. Yeah, we're we're hungry. If y'all can't see, I hope you guys have some munchies while you're watching this. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you guys are new. We've been in Hawaii for about four days now, and we've just been exploring. So if you guys haven't watched the past videos, go check them out. Bye. I need to add a green sauce to them. The gordita said chicharron. Okay. Mm. And we were talking to the owner. He's from Mexico, La Ciudad de Mexico. Shout out to all my people from La Ciudad de Mexico. Also the cook from Guadalajara. Got a lot of chivas, but he goes for La Fumas. Yeah, it was so funny because... When Scott brought that up, <laughs> and he was like, oh! I like, felt so fun. They were like, okay, she knows her stuff. But yeah, I love to like, you know, get some authentic food. You got cilantro on your teeth too. It's okay. It's all right, y'all. We're eating. We can't be perfect while we eat. What were you going to say though? I definitely love supporting my people, you know? I gotta support the Mexicans out there, especially in Hawaii. I didn't really see too many Mexicans out here, so when I saw them, it was like, ah, it wasn't even up. about just them being Mexican. It's the fact that the food is good. That the, the food, I don't even have food like this back in the city, mm -hmm. which I'm sad about because I'm gonna be craving these sopas when I'm back home, and I'm mad I'm not gonna be able to get them. But it's crazy because I wanna see other islands, but I low key wanna come back to Maui just for this. He said he's been here for 32 years, y'all. Like, he's been out here for a while, mm -hmm. you know, holding it down. This is, this is better than any Latin food in the city. 
No cap. Wow. I'm feeling very Hawaiian right now. I must say. Us eating in the back in the back of the car. In my bathing suit barefoot. Like we don't ever do this in the city, y'all. We do you gotta have some sweats on the hoodie. Yeah. Dude, it's too cold to be doing this. I don't, I don't know how we ended up with, with a minivan, but I swear God has been blessing us in every way possible. Like, I couldn't ask for more, y'all. Our snorkeling trip was, was like the best. Go to, check out that video if you haven't. We hiked up the volcano, two mountains. Like, man, got the best Airbnb <laughs> on the beach. I mean, we have. My sope de pollo. I gotta bring this out. Sope de pollo, right? What did you get? Sope de frijol? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna try the pollo? I sure. love. Maybe try this and you'll be like, damn. It reminds me of. You gotta try that though. It reminds me of a tostada, but even like 10 times better than my tostadas. Our tostadas. Mm, that's hella good. It is so funny because we were on the trip. Like, I'm just waiting for those sofas. Like, we were really looking forward to this today. We kept, oh, we've been looking forward to it. We kept saying yesterday, like, we're going to be at that spot tomorrow. Oh my god. Can oh, yeah. I try your gordita? Put a little green sauce in there. I think it needs a little sauce. Mmm. Just eat that one. Okay. This is popping, y'all. All the meat has really good flavor. It's yeah. not dry at all. It's really Everything juicy. Is I'm sweating. Definitely make sure you guys come check out 808 Antonitos if you guys are ever in Maui or if you know anybody that's coming to Maui and they're looking for recommendations, recommend them this spot. Let them know the Trippy, uh, the Wavy Cat fam sent you, I mean the Wavy Cat, the Trippy Cat fam sent you guys. And yeah, we're about to just enjoy this because the sun is beaming so hard right now. I can't even see you guys. Trippy's dripping bullets right now. So we're going to enjoy this food. It's fire. 10 out of 10 recommend. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Mahalo. Mahalo. We're enjoying this trip. And Aloha. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. All right, you guys. We parked outside of the sun. It feels hella better over here. Yo, we were dying. I know. We were like <laughs> killing ourselves for no reason. <laughs> Now we can really enjoy this food. This bomb ass food. How you liking Hawaii so far, baby? I love it. I don't want to leave. I see why people come here and live here. Like, everyone that we've met, no one's from here. Like, people have moved here like five years ago, four years ago, months ago. And when we asked them like, oh, what made you want to move out here? They're like, oh, for more opportunity. You know, one thing we did notice too, a lot of people come from Arizona, New Mexico, like where it's hella dry and they're like here out in the water, you know, which is like kind of like cool to notice, you know. If you like water, you like being a part of that life lifestyle, Hawaii is definitely the place to be at. Like the guy we met, super dope kid, he's only 24 years old, working on a boat. He moved from Oregon, he started a whole new life out here because he... He loved that lifestyle, you know, he wanted to live it, so he did. He's yeah, doing it he's out loving here. it, and I was like, damn, that's dope. You know, not a, lot, not a lot of people do that, and on top of that, not a lot of people love the job that they have, you know? Like, a lot of people just settle with a lot of things in life, which is kind of sad, you know? Don't ever settle, you guys. Like, make sure you're with the person you love, that you want to be with. Don't just settle, and don't live, you know, just anywhere. Like, live somewhere where you're happy where you want to wake up every day and like you're doing what you want to do 
feel like that's what life's really about. And like, Chase your dreams. Yeah, we get so lost with like bills and, you know, health and things like that, that it's so easy to be like, well, girl, you know, we have these problems, but it's like, if you, I feel like if we enjoyed life more, those problems would seem so little. I know I got like sour cream on coming out. The salsa with the chicharron. Did you live here? It's more like a vacation spot. Yeah, for me, I don't know if I could actually live here. But I would love to have a house here that like I come to all the time. And... Oh, hell yeah. Who wouldn't? A little timeshare? <laughs> Like, that would be beautiful. We should look into that, baby. Thanks, sure. That'd be dope. It's like you own it for just a certain amount of time in a year, right? And it's like yours. That'd be Fine. Dope. So happy we waited. And after this, we're going to a luau, which is going to be a five course meal of different kind of traditional meals, along with dances which is one thing that I really, really, really wanted to do while we were out here. And a lot of people recommended it to like go to a luau. So I was telling him like, we should really go to one. We did it. Yeah, and yo, shout out to Sia Maui because we actually booked it with them. And I don't know if I told you guys, but because we booked with them, we got a deal on the snorkeling. So yeah, if you guys ever come out here, definitely recommend going to what beach was it, baby? Leilana? Uh, Lahani. Lahani. I think it's called Lah Lahaina. Lahaina. Lahaina Beach and they have like the Sea of Maui boots go talk to somebody because like they'll give you better deals and you'll get online and we got hooked up y'all like and it was funny because when we got off hella people were like where'd you guys go because they dock you right there on the beach like people are just chilling like yeah you said it <laughs> yeah like just watching you like what the fuck um, no, free lunch open bar after you're done smoking so worth it and the, the lunch was good. They gave us chicken wings, shrimp, um, skewers, pesto sandwiches. Quality. Um, a one. Like, it was good. It was really good. And open bar, which you can't beat, you know? Yeah. Like, three three drinks at a bar is 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy. Imagine that on the beach, though. On a boat. Cruising. So nice. Man. I think I'm done, baby. We pretty much ate everything. I just got half my gordita and supper. What? Right, I'll I probably, I'll probably eat it. I just need like a little bit of it. Oh, I'm like, I could finish this. Yo, <laughs> I'm hungry, y'all. Snorkeling got you tired, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> that overall, coke is so good. Overall, it was such a dope experience. I'm so happy that we ended up doing this. Me too. <laughs> Me trying yeah. to end it. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for joining us. For real. Till next time, y'all. Stay lit. Stay positive. Yeah, we'll see you guys at the Luau. Hey, that's our next stop. Yee.